Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate for you a running stitch or otherwise known as a straight stitch. So I have my needle thread and I've already tied my knot as you can see. And I am going to go in from the back of the fabric. So I poke through from behind, pull it through. Remember you always want to hold right here when you pull through so the strings stay together. If you don't hold here, then the string will just slide right out of your needle. Okay, so now I'm on the top of my fabric and I want to go over and then back down through the back. And so I'm going to grab it as it goes through the fabric and pull. And now I've made this right here. And then you want to go over, come back up, over, down. Over, come back up, over, go down. So this is your basic stitch here. So now you have to tie it off. Um, before we do that though, when you do this, you want to make sure that these parts right here are pretty much all the same size. And you want to make sure the spaces in between are all the same size. That's going to make it look nice. Okay, so now we're going to tie it off. So what we do is we flip it on the back. You always want your knots to be on the back. And you're going to go under your previous stitch. Okay, let me get a little closer. Go under your previous stitch, like that. Pull it through. And then you see that loop that you're creating there on the end? Come back around, put your needle through that loop, and pull. Okay, so that's made a knot, but you want to always do it twice. So go through the previous stitch, make that loop, go under and pull, and then the only way you can get this off is using scissors, so you have to snip it off. And now if I flip it over, so this side looks nice and pretty, where this side has the knots on it. So we have a front and a back. The front is always the pretty side. So that is a running stitch.